Capricorn, June 15th to the 30th, 2018. How you been? Capricorn, June 15th to the 30th, 2018. Capricorn, June 15th to the 30th, 2018. General reading, five card spread. I'm doing two of them today. One general, one love. It will not resonate with all Capricorns. Keep in mind, I'm reading for the masses. So it can't get too, you know, you know, specific. Sun card, happiness, overall energy. This is like happiness card. To me, this is just all bright, sunshiny, and good. It's things you want to happen, happiness, it's contentment, the roll energy. Maybe that's what you're wanting. Coming out of feeling abandoned, worried cars in reverse. It's also known as the Five of Pentacles. Get these little ripples here. Five of Pentacles, first start in the past, coming out of abandonment, coming out of feeling trapped. Coming out of feeling trapped, even though maybe something didn't come forward the way you wanted it to. A truth. Maybe a truth didn't come out. Maybe you want something said. Or someone wanted to say something to you, but it didn't come out. But you're, feel, you're not feeling trapped to this situation in the past anymore. From the past. Obstacle. Let's see what the obstacle is. Yeah, there you go. Coming out of uh, a nightmarish situation. The obstacle is that you may be a little bit still stuck in it for some reason, but you are coming out of feeling abandoned. The obstacle is do not go back to that worried situation. The cruelty of the mind, as they say. Depression. Don't stay in it. Why is it there? Nine of Swords. If you hear me stop, it's because I'm thinking. You need to come an obstacle. You got to come out of a chain situation. You are coming out of abandonment. It's been in the past, but for some of you, you may not. It's like forgiven, sort of, but not forgetting. You're not going to forget. That's the obstacle, and you can carry that with you. you make yourself sick. So be careful of that, because that devil is in reversed. And so is the cruelty card in reverse. When I got two of those in reverse, it means it's having trouble coming out of it. Not coming out of it. So, current environment. You're still feeling kind of betrayed. It's like, I can feel some of you saying, you know, it happened. I'm okay, I'm coming out of it, but I'm not forgiving and I'm not forgetting because we got the Ten of Swords here with betrayal. You're still feeling betrayed. Capricorns, come out of that yuck feeling. It's not going to last. Things are going to get better. I know that from my last readings for Capricorn. Things end up pretty yuck in the beginning, but they get better. For some reason, I feel that. But the Ten of Swords, the current environment, betrayal. Why do you feel betrayed, Capricorn? Why do you feel betrayed? Strength. You're losing strength. Come on. Feeling like your strength is at Ten of Swords. Feeling betrayed because of that. Now your strength is down. What is coming towards you? Capricorns need to talk to me about the Capricorns that this is referring to. Maybe it's not the same Capricorns as the last spread. Comment and tell me, not getting too personal, what could be occurring in your life right now that makes you feel this way. Without, you know, giving details of your, who you are. What is coming towards you, Capricorn? Someone's wanting to come out of failure. It's an outside environment. Someone may be feeling that way towards you, but I don't think you're forgiven and forgetting yet. Or it could be these energies do become reversed. It could be that person feeling this way towards you. But I'm saying this outside energy. Someone's feeling this way, or it's coming towards you. Seven of uh, Pentacles in reverse. Someone coming out of failure, but we got to see. Wait a minute. Need another card. 
this is why we do clarifications. Just too many people to read for. Try to get as much as possible in. Maybe a little bit of strife along with it. They may be demanding this. Someone's really wanting it. But there was betrayal. The outcome. I don't know. This almost sounds like love, but it could be money, finances, because we do have some cards on the way. Let's go on. What's going on this way? Ending. Capricorn, straight up. Or earth sign, I should say. Could be a Virgo, a Taurus. This person is in the upright. They're turning their wheel of fortune from something they didn't get in the past. They're turning the things around for themselves. They're not forgetting the past. Even though someone may want to, may want to come out of failure with somebody. It's not all forgive and forget. Could be money, finances, family, anything. Someone's not getting a victory in this. Someone's getting rid of something. They want it out of their heart. They're not forgiven just yet. And they're trying to come into their own uh and their own into their own power over a betrayal situation. Now I'm gonna give a love reading. It better be better. It better it better be better. It better uh be more positive. I need a love reading for Capricorn. June 15th to the 30th. We need a love reading. This Capricorn or somebody around them is feeling awfully betrayed. Hopefully that's just, a, you know, something else area, the love area. Hopefully it'll be better. Or hopefully it's different. Love, Capricorn, 15th to the 30th. Give me some good cards. The universe gives what, it, what it's supposed to for who those it is intended. Trust me. I like to get good cards too, but every time I deal my own, I get the tower, and I accept it, because that's life, and I do something about it, because I do have free will, at least I know it's coming, right, Wait, let's go, love, five of cups, I'm feeling kind of sorrowful, the overall energy, I don't know if it has anything to do with this last reading, you're feeling kind of down, you want happiness, because you did want that happiness, in the past, you got the King of Swords as a, a romantic type partner, maybe. This uh, romantic partner is, could be an air sign, could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They're in the reverse, so they're not exactly the most happy person. They're cutthroat, and they're going to let you know what they think. And it's not always kind, I'm telling you. They're, when they're in like this, you, you, you just pray that they turn back around. Let me put it that way. Why are they there? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? In the past. I want to know more about it. Or you can leave it in the comments if you want. I do read all my comments. I do. And I read them. And then I will answer them. You know, I try to answer as much as possible when I can. But I read every single one of them. I got to make sure that, you know, when they come through, they're from real people. King of Swords. King of Swords. Why are you there in reverse? Ooh, that wants to come out. It was a lover. We already knew that. It's a love reading. I'm not reading all those, but I'll read the top one. It's uh, Eight of Pentacles. That's someone working very hard at something. So it's a lover situation with the King of Swords, and he's not easy to be with right now, or she. And this could be vice versa. You could be taking on that King of Swords energy yourself. Obstacle. The King of Swords is not an obstacle. I don't know what is. You know, reverse. Obstacle. Obstacle. Oops. For Capricorn. Obstacle. For Capricorn. Look at this, right? There's that Ten of Swords again. The obstacle is feeling stabbed in the back. It's in reverse. The obstacle not feeling, um, not, not coming out of betrayal. Not feeling... Not wanting to become out of that, that betrayal. You're remembering it. So maybe this does have something to do with that. A little bit. Part. Half and half. Betrayal card. Why are you there? As the obstacle in reverse. Ten of swords. Why are you there? Two of cups. Also known as a lover situation. Or a get together. A partnership. It's in reverse. So that is the obstacle. Reversals. Something's not going up right, so it's up to you. Uh, current environment. Eight 
Ace of Swords is truth not coming out. You got that over here. You got the Ten of Swords over here. Now you got the Ace of Swords again. You know, it's just that current environment, someone's not having their say. Give me another card for Ace of Swords. You want happiness, but someone's not saying what they want. I see, I feel someone, someone's being really stubborn. Outside environment, what people are thinking or what's coming towards you. What they feel about the situation. I better get different cards. Strife. Five of Wands. Five of Wands here. Five of Wands here. Exact same place coming towards you. Strife. Battle, embattlement. Um, he says, she says, she says, she says, he says, he says, whatever you're into, it's, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a, you know, someone's going to have some words, you know, combative, it could be a little bit competitiveness too, but let's see, five, five of, uh, wands strife, why are you there coming towards him, coming towards Capricorn, the Empress, things are just not growing the way they want to, She's in reverse. For some of you, it could be a pregnancy, but I don't think so. Or not really a pregnancy, but maybe not an offer for that. Someone's not wanting to be. Or maybe someone's not wanting to start something. But there was some betrayal here. Um, outcome. I need an outcome card. Please give me a good card. I like nice readings. You're waiting. You're waiting. There's a three of wands. That's either, it could be two different things. It's in the upright. It could be someone waiting for something good to come in, or they're watching something bad go and things get better. So three of wands, why are you there? That's the outcome in the upright. I like the card because either way, it's, it's better for, for the Capricorn. They do feel better in the end. Three of wands, why are you there? Yep, you're no longer wanting to... Uh, juggle a certain situation. You no longer want to work on a uh, decision. You no longer want to, oh, how do you say this? Fight for it. You're not wanting, even though there is a struggle coming towards you, you may say, no, I'm waiting for better things to come in just like this. You want your wheel of fortune to turn around. So what Capricorn's got on their mind is getting their life in, in a better situation, a positive situation that they want. They're saying what they want. And if anybody else is watching, maybe um, sometimes these energies, like I said, can be reversed or crossed over. And maybe your partner wants all this. But I'm reading this for Capricorn, and Capricorn wants what Capricorn wants. The heart wants what the heart wants. It's going to go with what they want in life, fortune-wise. At least for June, a little bit further out, because we do have some pentacles here. Three of Wands. One more. Sun card. It's still a good card, even reverse. It's like, to me, it's telling you, it's saying, you don't got what you want yet, but it's coming. And you're taking control, because you got the emperor in the upright, and that's someone who takes control. So, the emperor wants what the emperor wants, the Capricorn wants what the Capricorn wants. The heart wants what the, the heart wants. And right now, they're just thinking of themselves. They're doing them. I'm a doing me. That's what Capricorn's saying. And that is your reading. I'll put it up as soon as I can. Bye.